So now the candidate node is if a node, another node tries to be the leader in case of the absence of the original leader or the crashing of the original leader, the other follower node becomes the candidate for the leader node. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to break down one of the most important consensus algorithm out there that is RAF. So in our previous video we discussed about Paxos which is another consensus algorithm. So this is our I think fifth video in the second section of the RGB system design playlist. Uh, if you have not checked this playlist I will suggest you to go and check this uh, playlist once. So in this playlist we are going to cover all the system design concepts in the st most structured way possible with all the details that are there. Alright, so without further delay, let's start with the wrapped algorithm today. So wrapped is much easier to understand than Paxos. So if you have not watched my Paxos video previously, just go ahead and watch it. Okay, you'll get to understand about consensus algorithm in detail. So by the end of this video, we'll have a clearer understanding of how wrapped works along with some examples we'll discuss. So in a distributed system, we often have multiple servers like this, right? Or nodes that need to agree on a shared state. So the process of reaching on an agreement is called a consensus. So wrapped is a common consensus algorithm that is designed to be simple, understandable and easy to implement also. So it ensures that when multiple servers are there, they agree on a sequence of log entries. Now what are these log entries? I'll come to this in a while. So this wrap makes, uh, it's, makes it an ap uh, ideal application for replicated state machines like distributed databases as you can see here. So ideal, basically in a wrap, a cluster consists of multiple nodes like this and each node can be of the, these three roles. Each node can be a leader also, follower or can, can be a candidate. Now what is a leader? Leader is that node which handles the client request directly through the server or anything. So follower are the other nodes which uh, replicate the logs or the state or the content of the leader node. I mean it's called a state or maybe in the database state it will, the follower node will try to replicate those. So now the candidate node is if a node, another node tries to be the leader in case of the absence of the original leader or the crashing of the original leader, the other follower node becomes the candidate for the leader node. So at any given point of time there is only one leader as you can see while other nodes remain in the follower state. So if the leader fails, a new leader is elected among the uh, follower nodes. So let's say we have a wrapped cluster with four database nodes like this. So initially all the nodes will start as a what? Start as a follower only. Now if there is no leader, uh, a follower becomes candidate. Let's say this was also a follower. This becomes a candidate now. Now what it will do? It will then you know initiate the election process to be become the leader and it will send the request vote RPC, remote procedure a call to other server, ki, yeah, please vote me as the leader. Now once majority of the follower votes uh, uh, this node to be the leader, it becomes the leader. Now it will send in the heartbeats to all the follower nodes signifying that yeah, I am alive and I am the leader now. So now you, you might think what happens if two nodes at the same time vote, right? A split vote can happen, right? So in order to avoid the tie between two nodes who are uh, running for the leader race, the entire system or the all the nodes will wait for a timeout i mean for a certain amount of time and then they will, they will restart the election process now once a leader is selected uh, the client starts receiving the client request right? and the leader node starts receiving the client uh, request and then it will replicate the logs across the log entries and this log entries will be replicated across all the follow now what do you mean by log entry let's say client request came from the client that yeah update the value of x in database to 10 so this is my update request that is going so as soon as the leader node receives this, it first puts in the log entry uh, section. Okay. Once the log entry is done, then this log entry is shared across all the follower node. Now, once all the follower node agree on the uh, incoming update and they give the acknowledgement, so then what the leader does? Uh, leader does that it commits the write request or it's com it commits the log entry. Committing by committing, what what do you mean? By committing the log entry content is written to the database and the database state changes. Uh, so first the write request goes to the log entry, log entry is said across all the followers, followers will vote and agree upon the change, then it will be written to the database and it will be replicated all over the cluster. So this ensures that every node eventually has the same state of log entries and which maintaining has them in maintaining a strong consistency. Right? So if a follower crashes and later recovers, then it can you know uh, sync with the log, uh, uh, it can sync with the leader node using the logs. So if a leader crashes, followers detect that uh, missing heartbeat 
right? The heartbeat won't be reaching now. Now the follower will detect that scenario and then they will elect a leader among themselves using the again request request vote RPC. So that's a wrapped algorithm in a nutshell. I hope it was quite easy to understand, right? So it is easier to implement than Paxos actually. So this is a leader based consensus algorithm that makes a system fault tolerant, reliable and you know highly consistent. So if you like this video, please uh, like this video and let's target for 50 likes to this video and subscribe to my channel. We are targeting to reach 300, uh, 3000 subscribers by the end of this month. You can keep an eye on this RGB system design playlist. Here we are going to cover all the nine sections one by one in a sequential manner, in a structured web, uh, manner. And in the next video, we are going to start with the networking and communication protocol things. Okay, we'll discuss with the HTTP web sockets and gRPC. So till then, if you have any questions about whatever we discussed in this video, put them in the comment section and I will be sure to answer them. And keep an eye on this system design playlist. You can search, just search RGB system design playlist and you will be able to access this playlist in YouTube. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.